Hello and welcome for a new Vintage Chronicle. Today we will describe Boba Fett's spaceship called Slave One. Released in 1981, Bounty Hunter's spaceship is used to track fugitive into the galaxy and allows you to carry Han Solo in Carbonite Chamber to Jabba the Hutt Palace on Tatooine. Inside package you will find two folding carbon inserts, one vehicle, one bag of accessories, one label sheet, one instruction sheet, one catalog. Inside baggie you will find two wings, one lift ramp, one solo in carbonite chamber. Boba Fett's spaceship is designed with one cockpit, two wings, two laser cannons, one access ramp, and one cargo door. Press cockpit canopy on both sides to open cockpit. Place Boba Fett into cockpit seat and move remote level to place it into landing or flying mode. To load prisoners, lift ramp at bottom and slide to give access to action figures. Remove cargo door by pulling out corner and lift tab and pull straight out. Laser cannons rotate at 360 degrees with clicking sound. You can add extra action figures inside cargo compartment. Press trigger behind handle to control wing gravity and switch to landing or takeoff position. Included with this vehicle is the very first version of Han Solo in Carbonite Chamber into the Kenner Star Wars storyline. Only Slave One customer could get this exclusive Frozen action figure. I hope this review has been an interest to you and feel free to subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching Vintage Chronicle.